Room 208. The articles of confederation. No. News speaks. Three strands of the articles of confederation are they could borrow and print money, could maintain their forces, army and navy, and could contain foreign affairs, signing the few affairs in 1983. The of the articles of confederation are no chief executive, no nation of court, and all three states require to amend the articles. No, Northwest Ordinance 1787 is a way to admit new states in order to become a state union. 60,000 people, they were given the equality as the original 13 states. Chase with the four farmers were growing in depth, the prices of farms were falling, the state mm -hmm. taxes were high, and the sectors were different. The Great Compromise. In the Great Compromise, there were two houses, the House of Senate and their representatives. In the House of Representatives, the membership was based on the population which made large states happy. In the House of Senate, the representation was equal. In the Senate, each state had two senators. Compromise. This is compromise about slaves, the South, and North African to another Where they both had them. The South wanted to count each slave as one for the first state. The North refused saying, don't count the slaves. So the compromise and said for every five slaves, three will be counted for the state's population. The Bill of Rights. The English um, Bill of Rights no. was an act of parliament which guarantees certain rights of the citizens. Parliament any sovereignty um, gives the legislative body of parliament as absolute It makes it makes it supreme. Overall, all the government institutions, the Bill of Rights also shrunk shrunk many of the powers of the crown. In fact, the United States Bill of Rights was modeled after the English Bill of Rights. And time for commercial break. We'll be back. <laughs> Trying to be skinny. You can buy our new Nature Valley's granola bar, starting with $10.99. Um, that's it. Um, you can order now and get one free. $10, all right. Why? The, the major argument for and against ratifying the Constitution. The anti-federalism both a strong central government. The anti-federalists supported a strong state government. They later opposed the ratification of the 1787 Constitution. The previous Constitution called the Articles of Confederation gave the state's government more authority. The anti-federalists opposed the ratification of the Constitution. Federalists. The Federalists supported a strong central government. They had a desire to establish a strong central government. A <coughs> corresponding desire for weakness states from Federalist Papers. Alexander and Hamilton wrote most of, of the Federalist Papers in one of the 85 in, uh, in installments. The Federalists are a collection of essays written in favor of the new constitution and Agreed upon by the federal constitution. September, September 1770, 1787. The authors of the Veterans Eve paper for most of which to include the vote in favor of ratifying the constitution. The Veterans ratified the constitution. 